red female. So this little girl did really well. You can see that she's uh, a little quiet, uh, but she came directly to me. Her tail is down, it's not tucked. Little body shake. So she's feeling, you know, a little bit of stress. Hi. Hi. So I'm going to give her some attention and hopefully let her know that I'm a good thing. Okay. She's uh, just gotten taken away from her litter, ma litter mates and uh, walked across a very busy parking lot. Yeah, dogs barking. She's never been here, never met me. Hi, little girl. Hi, little girl. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not going to give her like a constant affection. I want to kind of leave her alone and let her see, let me see if she chooses to stay with me or go and look around the room, which will tell me if she's a more environmental or socially focused puppy. <laughs> oh boy, did you just have a big drink? <laughs> hey? Did you? Huh? Very good. So you can see her tail is now up and over her back. It's a little bit in a different position than it was when she first came in. Yeah? A little happier. She's giving me lots of licks and so far no teeth or anything. Maybe spoke too soon. <laughs> So they do explore their world with their mouth, so I, you know, she's not really biting me. She's licking me now, so <laughs> I'm going to go really, really quiet for a moment. So she is very uh, quiet in nature. Uh, she's not really leaving me. She, she went to look at a ball and then came back. That being said, she's just now looking at that tent. 
but she's, you know, she's lo really kind of looking to me for some uh, support. And, I, you know, just feels better over here. So that, that being said, I would have to say that uh, at this point in the test that she's a more social oriented dog. An important thing for that is to continue crate training as uh, Canto has started their puppies. Um, she needs to um, know that she can't be with you 24-7. Uh, it becomes a safe place for them. It becomes a happy place for them. Um, you wouldn't uh, pick her up and coddle her. Otherwise, she will just learn to depend on you more and you want her to become uh, a little more independent. A little brave. Yes. Hello, little girl. Sweet, sweet face and a beautiful eye contact. I mean, she's so direct. Yeah, he's so direct. Yeah. Oh, big yawn. So, yawn, like she's not 100% sure. Her tail and body language is funny. So, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that was. So she's really looking to me for um, a little bit of help, right? A little bit of help. Would you like to go up and walk around? So with this little girl, I would try to like you know keep, um, keep good energy, like a, a good high energy. Um, keep her, get her more uh, busy, playful, interactive. Yeah, you want to be interactive. She's very, very sweet. Um, she's just not leaving me. So we're going to get up and walk around and see if she actually follows me uh, or how she handles how she handles this. So this uh, little exercise is just like a watch me uh, checking in exercise. You want to be able to take her somewhere and uh, you want her to be comfortable in her, her environment and have a lot of fun, but she should also know where you are. Uh, this little girl is totally following me. Um, very good. So she's good. The body shake is shaking off stress, which is very good. She's doing it herself. And I would introduce what's things. Oh, I would introduce things. I would. I would introduce you to them. I would. Yeah. Yeah. What is this thing here? What is this? So just build her like confidence and her world up and by uh, introducing her to stuff. Maybe check it out. Look, what's this? What's this? So she can't stay with you twenty four seven. Come on, what's this? So we want to introduce things to her. Yes, puppy come. Puppy come. Yes, puppy come. You should see her eyes, they're so direct. Very good. Puppy come. Puppy come, yes. All the way. All the way. No, all the way. Puppy come. Yeah, now she's getting a little braver. Puppy come. Yes. Yes. Praise, praise, praise. Lots of praise when she comes. And it won't take very long for her to figure out what, she, what you want her to do. So she's free to look at things. Play with things. Puppy come. Yes. Here. Yes. Very good. Very good. So you want her to think that being with you is kind of like the best place in the world. Very good. Very good following. But what's in? What's this? Yes. But you. But get her to. You know. Get her interested in other things. And then. Puppy come. Yes. Yes! Very good. So you can see how it's 
No, the, the uh, play and the interaction, building her confidence. She's starting to look at things. Very good. Puppy, come. Puppy, come. <laughs> yes, puppy. Oh, she goes on. I, I'm stuck. Wow. <laughs> puppy, come. Yeah. Yes, very good. So you can see that uh, you would do this in your house. Get her to where she knows. Yes, what you want her to do. And then take it out in the backyard. And then continually uh, imp increase her world space. So holding her like this is a test of uh, patience and tolerance. I hope you can see. So she is totally, she gave me a little fight at the beginning, then she went limp, and then she's had enough. So she did really well on the test, uh, but she could use some improvement in patience and tolerance. And she, she's not holding a grudge and she's not mad. She just wanted to go and she's very good. Her um, tail is up, her body's up. She's getting a, a bit more uh, confidence. So with that in, <laughs> she has a lot of uh, grooming and vets and you need to increase that uh, tolerance. Uh, wow, very good. You need to increase her her tolerance and patience. Uh, it wasn't bad, it just needs some improvement and something to work on. So you just hold her up and increase the time held every day. Puppy! Yeah, she's getting a little gray. What's this? Oh, you're gonna bring me that? How nice. It was very nice when they bring it to you. What's this? <laughs> now we've decided that the blue tent is great. Oh, what's this? Oh, good girl. Very good. So you can see a big difference from when we first started. Yes. Puppy break. Puppy break. Think about it. Puppy cup. Yes. Good girl. So she didn't exactly bring it, but she didn't uh, run it away. Would you like to do it again? Yeah? She's excited now. Look, look. So this is a great game for puppies. Obviously, it's uh, really good for their physical but and their mental. Very good. So she's not... Very good. She's not really willingly giving it to me, so I'm going to show you uh, the introduction of a little bit of a treat. So, um, you want to be able to do the drop it and the leave it exercises, because uh, the, if they get something in your yard, if they don't drop it, the harder you try to get it, the faster they'll chew. And gobble it down. So you, puppy come. Puppy come. Puppy come. Yes. Yes. Come. Bring it. So now she's really chewing it. So I'm going to put a treat down. Tell her to drop it. She can smell the treat. She just doesn't know where it is. There you go. And do it that way. Never pull it out of their mouth because it just sort of encourage them, encourages them to uh, gobble it down as fast as they can. So this little girl has never had uh, treats this way before. Or treats. She's only had puppy food. So this part of the test is to see uh, how they, oh, she hasn't chewed it yet. How they react actually to high reward, high value reward treats. Uh, some puppies just uh, can't focus. They're so interested in the treat that they can't focus and do what you're asking them to. So in a sense, you're setting them up for failure. It's right here, look. Right there. Very good. So she seems to really like it. Happy. Look. Look at that. 
So what I've done is I put put a treat under a cup. It took her two blinks to get it. Um, some puppies knock over the cup and go running off playing with the cup and they're so, so totally uh, not focused that it wouldn't be fair. This little girl was very methodical, very smart. Um, <laughs> we're going to do it one more time. How about this one? Look. So absolutely perfect. Couldn't have done better. So quite, uh, quite smart, this little girl, and a nice, uh, calm nature. So I think that you would be safe to certainly use uh, treats and your verbal uh, and padding. Like she's very responsive. Very good. Is that good? Yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? Now you're alive. noise, fairly big startup, and she should because it, it was an uh, unexpected noise. It's how she recovers. Big body shake, super. Tail is up. She did come to me. Yeah. Yeah. Play with those balls. So she is a little, a little cries, tiny little cries. She's not sure what that was. Um, We're going to see if she'll stick to me like glue or recover on her own. She is, uh, she has a beautiful body language. <laughs> she was enjoying playing until we did that. So just uh, don't coddle her when she's upset. Just get her moving forward. Get her playing. Distract her from the noise, help her learn to recover, help her learn, What's that? help her learn to manage that, um, that stressor on her own, uh, and build her confidence up. You can see as the test goes on, she's uh, more playful, more confident. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Hmm? Was that a little? I'm just going to walk around to see if she'll come. Yay! Puppy come. Yes! Good girl. You want to get that? Good girl. So she's pretty well back to normal. She was very interested in staying with me before. And she's playful and she's happy. <laughs> yeah? So don't coddle a puppy that's scared. Just try to encourage. Moving forward and, uh, holy girl. <laughs> body and, and engage her body and mind and get her busy and thinking about something else. And uh, she will learn to push through on her own. So she's doing very well now. Hey, okay? you're very interested in that. What's this? Very curious. Yay. Very good. Whoa, what a good girl. What a good girl. So that was very, very good. This is a totally different uh, sound and movement. Yes. She's kind of more interested in playing with my hand, but She's getting excited. She's not scared of this. That was wonderful. Okay, very well done. Yeah. Very well done. Yes? So just uh, increase, uh, increase her, her world by uh, in introducing lots of different uh, movements and textures and sounds. So this is a basic prey exercise. So she's following it. She caught it. She's quite focused. 
So she's medium to uh, medium to high because she's really grabbing onto it. She hasn't given it a real big kill shake yet. But she's not letting it go. <laughs> huh? So um, there you go. So she has a fairly high prey drive, and I would uh, use your exercises like um, leave it, watch me, drop it, just to uh, get her focus back on you, because you're going to be out in the yard with squirrels and kids and bikes. So there's lots of distractions. She has to learn too that she can look, and then and then uh, you can get her attention back. Mm, very good. So all in all, very sweet nature. Very beautiful little girl, nice, nice energy, and I hope you enjoy. Very good little girl.